So hi guys, uh, welcome back to another video. So um, if you want to create a, um, a server or a mode via portal, um, I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, I mean, I've only done a couple myself. I'm going to create one now for the uh, aerial destroyer achievement. Just I'm going to try and create a map to, uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully get that achievement. So. So if you follow this, um, so what you want to do is you go on EA.com, create a, an account or log in. As soon as you've done that, you come to the main page and then obviously you've got this scroll down, go to the battlefield portal section. Like I said, I'm doing it on a really old laptop now. This is my spare laptop where I just, I keep it at the side of my computer. So, um, I mean, my Xbox in my living room so my PC is unfortunately right down to in another room and uh, it's away from my living room so I'm, I'm just going to set this up now so if it freezes or something I'll probably have to do it on so yeah when you go into the battlefield portal section you've got this uh, start creating and this is where you should create a uh, another little map mode uh, so your own little server but yeah you can uh, you can modify ones which are already uh, like I mean I've not really tried these um, create something new um, I've already created a conquest and a rush I mean I could modify this but uh, what I do is I'll create a create a new one create something new so i'm going to create something so i'll i can just get get into the map and uh hopefully get this aerial destroyer uh, achievement so i'm going to create something around that so see how we go so game mode um i'm gonna i'm gonna pick conquest not conquest large i want something with helicopters obviously because i've got to parachute out of an helicopter and destroy an enemy helicopter while it's uh, in the air so we're gonna we're gonna create um, conquest and the next you, you pick your map obviously or maps depends how many map rotation you want uh, so you've got your available maps uh, I think we're gonna go for uh, I mean I could go for orbital or I mean, you've got. So I'm going to go for. Where's the. Uh, that's. That's one. Caspian border. Because we know we've got. Should get uh, enemy helicopters in there if we. Set it up correctly. Um, game mode. So human players. I only be at once with the only human players. So we'll just create two human players. Oops. I mean, it doesn't matter anyway because uh, you can create a password and so no one's at, no one uh, is random going to join you. Game time. Uh, well, we're going to go for the achievement, so just set the achievement to the max. Or because you don't want to be just run, nearly getting an achievement or whatever you set it up for, and it time out. So yeah, it don't matter because you can always quit the game whenever you want. So yeah. Um, team distribution 1-1 one, one. so if you set it up for further you can like the team distribution 15 on each side this is for human players obviously okay uh, I think we'll leave these reinforcements multiplier they're unimportant uh, unimportant I can't get my words out this morning uh, friendly fire does it really matter projectile speed multiply I think that's just the speed of your bullets global damage multiplier right okay we can uh, ah okay if you click that little button there you can separate the uh, the two bars so t t1 which is your team obviously and on global damage uh, right, so this is how much damage you give. So obviously you want uh, maximum damage. So 
put that to the top and enemy teams you want them down at the bottom really you don't want, don't want them doing much damage to you so we'll t turn the weather off obviously this is all whatever you this is all whatever you want really I mean you, you create it how you want it if you're going for a certain achievement you, you'll like uh, your mission mash it out how, how you need to how you need to do it this is just the uh, the gameplay though so there's a lot a lot of sections to this uh, classic weapon soldier I thought we can for what we're after we can just keep them as is station we'll turn them off because what they are is, uh, if you're in a chopper, you don't want uh, enemy shooting anti-aircraft like emplacements on you. Because uh, I think that's why I think that's why it is. Anything on the map like stationary emplacements, yeah, it's like uh, yeah, anti-aircraft guns and everything. So, because we're going for the uh, the aerial destroyer achievement, we don't want his. Uh, we don't want to be shot down, do we? As soon as we're getting a chopper, and I'm not the best flyer. Headshot damage multiplier. This is what damage what you do. So we'll put that at the top, and and it's the same with the body damage. So if you want them separating, obviously if you didn't click, uh, it will just link it. Up so you both equal, but uh, this you can separate it so. You can have you, your body shot damage to the max and the enemy to the low. Obviously, you won't get no, no body damage. Aim assist doesn't matter. Aim assist zooms, yeah, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter drops on death now. Soldier. So when uh, when everyone, anyone's died, you don't want them like crawling around so what we'll just do is instant death prone I don't think that matters full damage multiplier so if we forget to uh, release our parachute we can fall to the ground safely should do max so basically they'll probably just jump off a box and die soldier speed multiplier now you can slow these down but uh, I don't think it really matters too much but you know you can just do that just to easier to shoot I guess if you're going for headshots or you know the headshot uh, achievement 20 headshots that can uh, help out in that in that cause aim down sights well, soldier health regeneration we'll take that off and soldier maximum health multiplier multiplies soldiers health maximum health reduce health increases it so what we'll do is we'll just just for the sake of it's here we'll put ours to the max regeneration rate yeah we'll put ours to the max just in case you know obviously this can all be changed at a future date if you're going for a different achievement or something like that then uh, come back in and log in and just change it to your your desired desired requirements so where are we soldier redo redeployment delay multiplier so basically we'll just take these down to naught obviously when they so you can just pretty much spawn straight in there's no waiting you know, you've not got no uh, timer to uh, bring you in. Squad revive slide, eh, doesn't matter. Now we're on the vehicles. It's a vehicle spawn delay. So, you know, we, if your vehicle goes, we don't want no waiting for 
and to uh, redeploy so combat vehicles so so call-ins we've got on foot call-ins and deploy menu so we'll just keep that as determined by game mode so we're doing conquest so this should uh, we've got choppers on this conquest map so this should uh, keep it as the game mode vehicle health regeneration so what we'll do is we we want to take a chop uh, an enemy's chopper out so we're going to we don't want it regenerating if uh, so we want to uh, shoot it down as easy as possible really don't we so and uh, vehicle maximum health multiplier so basically I, I, I'd assume that this ours we wanted to be to the uh, max and we'll put the enemy down to the bottom really same with this regeneration rate so keep ours right to the top and yeah, you're not going to regenerate so exiting vehicle yeah so one it's not really the user interface this is really unimportant really this is your yeah this is this isn't really uh too bothered but yeah if you if you if you're setting up your own map and it's something that you want so but this is uh this is one of the important bits about uh if you're going if you're setting one up for achievements uh it's it's your ai so this is your team how many ai do you want on your team well none we just want our us so we just want as ma as many uh bots as possible in the enemy team so we'll just we'll put them in as a max 60 select this as pve so that's i think that's personal ai so it's you against the enemy that's person versus person ai I, i'm not really too sure about that. i think that's it's something what it's uh and the bot difficulty so what we'll do is we'll set the enemy as beginner we don't want like too clever now do we now this AI synced modifiers. How I select, how I set that soldier up there. It should, if I have that ticked, it should all be the same. Well, oh, see, all this is the same. So what I've just set it up. So, but we'll go through. Yeah, you see, see how it's. So you don't really have to set it up again. But if you want the AI different to what you've set up your uh, soldiers you did previously, obviously you'll deselect that tick box there, and you can set them up differently if you want to. But this should all, yeah, see what I mean? It's AI help engine regeneration at the sort of the same. If you want this different from what you set up to uh, your soldier, obviously tick, un unclick that uh, tick box, and you can set this up how, how you desire. So this next next section is your teams. This is uh, so obviously uh, team two, which is your enemy. You can set them as uh, battlefield three teams. Uh, you can have nineteen forty two teams. You can set as a battlefield twenty forty two characters and. Uh, You can actually have battlefield. Uh, See so yeah, here, you can whatever characters you want to just play out on your team. Obviously, you, you you got your tick boxes here below. You could untick all these and uh, just have one. It'll just have all Falks in uh, on your enemy. Boris, if you just want Boris as your enemy. You can just have him, and <laughs> there'll all be a full team at 60 AI bots of Boris. But they're all ticks, so it should be a mixed bunch, really. And uh, weapons next. 
So if you want, yeah, so we want the enemy teams just to have pretty basic weapons. So at the minute, this is, uh, it's unlinked. So what we'll do is we'll unlink it. And this is our, we, you can then separate what you have between what the enemy has. So you can, uh, if you don't want the enemy to have any right assault rifles, just unclick that. They ain't got any. So we want them just really with the basic weapons, don't we? So bolt rifles, DMRs, LMGs, not allowed any of them. We'll leave them with the pistols. We've got to leave them with something, haven't we? So the, all, the le all the enemy will have pistols. Attachments. This is the attachments to the, uh, the guns. So it will, like I say, it's really slow loading up. This one is the attachments. Is, they only got pistols, so you could hang on. There we go. Ammo types, you see, you got this is all your uh, you can deselect any of these, but we'll go straight to the vehicles. Oh dear. Hope isn't gonna freeze out. Oh dear. I hope not. There we go. We've gone to the vehicles. So basically we just we want them really with just an, uh, choppers, don't we? Helicopters. We don't want uh, we don't want them with tanks or anything like that at the moment, so there we go. Like I say, with this now, they're all split up, you see. or You, you can link them up, so obviously the, everyone has the same. But you can just you can deselect all your enemy to. You can keep them with the uh, helicopters, attack helicopters. Keep that box ticked. Fighter planes, tanks, light tanks. We only want the enemy we are uh, choppers because that's what we're going to be shooting out. We're just after this one achievement. Obviously, you set it up to how, how you need, how you desire. But uh, gadgets. So we got grappling hooks. So we don't want them otherwise if you just leave them yet. What we'll do is we'll just so they ain't got no gadgets whatsoever or anything. What we'll do is we'll just leave them out we uh with a loadout crate. Leaving with nothing. There you go. Oh, oh. Oh, we don't want to lock on air launchers, do we? Not when we fly, be flying a chopper. And that is it, really. So basically, this is set up, hopefully, to get the aerial destroy achievement soon find out on, on the next video we'll uh, we'll be <laughs> uploading the achievement hopefully using this method then when you've done all that obviously you create a name I'm up shmupper I like my shmup so shoot em ups that is description uh, call it test achievement test achievement valid experience and then what it is what you create and hopefully oh it says unable to create experience okie dokie maybe we've got to go back and change something I don't know let's have a, so let's have a look and show her what do you think we've got to change to do this separate so 
instant death so I've unclicked that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this uh, separate it might uh, it might be that you have to uh, set the AI up separate I remember it doing this before and it um, it didn't create it for some reason but uh, health regeneration off AI damage multiplier I want the most damage health most lots of health for me nothing for you That's it, yeah. Uh, vehicles. Just want to check the vehicles. Um, yeah, spawn delay. So restrictions. Hopefully, uh, go down to the bottom. Go to finish. Hopefully, create experience saved so <coughs> yeah it might be because uh, if you're getting that it might be the AI has to be you know different from your uh, you have to do the AI separate from your when you normal soldier so yeah at least we sorted that out so, now what you do yeah it will give you a code that is I'll just write this down AA HVC9 copper but yeah you just write that down and when you go to your game uh, you'll see when I log in it's uh, you put it in your host uh. so guys you've got your code pop back onto your game um, you've got this little page go to battlefield portal just on your right so we'll just go to the head to there and right button to host and right trigger to the experience code and a page or a little pop up where you put your code in and enter your game really and that is it really so if this is helped you out a little yeah leave us a like uh, hit that thumbs up button and uh, become a subscriber if you're not already uh, really do appreciate it if you do for all your support so yeah i'll see you next time